Chelsea. It's your girl Shonda Mae and I'm trying to get back on my vlogging game. Um, this is basically editing Shauna. So I went to, me and my daughter and my sister went to Walt Disney World about three months ago. I know, this is sad. We're in July. Happy 4th of July weekend for those who, well, whatever. Just enjoy your holiday weekend. Um, so anyways, my daughter, my sister, and I, we went to um, Walt Disney World about three months ago, and I've just been so slammed with work, but I really want to get in, back into vlogging because I enjoy doing it, and um, I really want to get this content out and just start getting back into the flow of things. It's been seven months since I posted my last video, and it's very reflective of my life because everything has just been so chaotic. Anywho, I was going back through all the footage of Walt Disney World and it's literally all over the place, but I do think it's informative um, and I definitely wanted to do, oh, she's funny, I, my mom hit me up. I definitely, I wanted to do a quick intro and just kind of explain what's going on in the video. So it starts out with my daughter crying. She literally cried the entire trip. I've never seen a five-year-old so miserable to be at Walt Disney World. And that's because her dad didn't go. My husband, he had to work. So just, you know, it was the girl's trip. It was a little girl's trip. She cried the entire time. She was miserable. My sister had a blast. I had fun until I was running to the Uber, fell off the curb and sprained my ankle and that was on the way to the park and that was basically day two so that's all we really did was go to the park one day because my ankle was so swollen it was so bad and by the grace of god i got through the park that day but when i tell you guys by the end of the night i was crawling on my hands and knees to get to the door it was so bad it was so bad oh my god um we stayed at this little Airbnb condo. I think it's like in Buena Vista, which is about 10 or 15. It was about 10 minutes from all the parks. I'll insert all the information um, when I do a little preview of the um, Airbnb and do like a little condo tour. Um, it was a really, really nice spot. It was near everything. There were so many food places out there. I had, a, I loved the condo and especially because I was laid up uh, the second half of the trip. I'm so happy we stayed somewhere nice and comfortable. Everybody had their own space and um, there were so many different places you can door dash from and Uber Eats and everything was such a convenient location. So um, if you don't feel like spending a lot of money on the actual to stay at the resort, like the Disney resorts, there are so many other options. And a lot of the condos are like hotel resort style. So you really don't feel like you're missing anything. I um, stayed at my aunt's. Um, she like owns Disney property. Um, it's called the Grand Floridian. And after staying there one time, it's hard for me to stay. Like that's the top of the top when it comes to like <laughs> Disney resorts. So if I'm not staying at the Grand Floridian at my aunt's place, I'm going to get me an Airbnb because after you stay there, like nothing else can compare. Should I insert some clips? I'll insert some clips here of... Uh, the Grand Floridian it's so nice or I'll insert them I'll insert those clips at the end of the video so um yeah we went it was my daughter's fifth birthday she cried the entire trip I sprained my ankle um but other than that I mean any time spent with family is so much fun so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick intro because the video is a little choppy I did my best to make it flow and make it smooth but it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoy this video um another thing if you are trying to like go to walt disney world cheaply it's not gonna happen there is no way to go around it even a staying at the condo i'm like okay i'm just gonna go to the grocery store buy some groceries y'all the groceries were marked up about i would say three to five dollars so like let's say a pack of hot dogs that would be three dollars in denver is going to be six dollars there because they know a lot of families are out there grocery shopping to save money oh and you can take food into the park you can take water bottles 
too so we definitely did that and it did save us you know some money but still like there's no cheap way of going to Walt Disney World um I would say there's a less expensive way but it's still expensive so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video please stay tuned for some more of my content I really um am looking forward to getting back into my vlogging thing it gets a little it gets a little discouraging but at the end of the day i just love doing it so whether one person sees it or one million we go for a million though it's all good so enjoy the video and i'll check you later <laughs> getting an airbnb and we needed a place to chill for the day until we can check in um because we got in at what like five and then we can check into our airbnb until like three or four so anywho there's this website called resortpass.com and it lets you like get a hotel room for a day you can sleep chill go to the pool and um it's actually a really good deal so we stayed at we're staying right now we're getting ready to check out the sheraton sheraton lake buena vista something like that oh my god i don't know so i'll give you guys a quick tour it's a chill little place it came to like a hundred bucks and it's been really helpful because we were not trying to drag our stuff around so you walk in Here's a little toilet, I mean little sink, sister. Here's the shower. Two queens. It came with some waters, a TV, a little dust area. I think the pool is the greatest feature. Um, I'm tired, I don't feel like walking out there. But yeah, it's really cool if you ever need a place to chill just for the day make sure you go on resortpass.com so we're about to check out and head to the airbnb Riley, where are we going first? Oh, here's my room. Hey, come on, let's go to the bathroom. Ooh, there's this shower and our 
Toilet. All right, let's go to mommy's room. Where is it? There's baby. It's her bathroom. Hamper. See through shower. Mirror. Hello. Stuff. Toilet. All right. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Here's our kitchen. Look outside. Let's look outside. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're on our way to Epcot. We have the birthday girl. Birthday. It's your birthday. Let me tell y'all something. If you are trying to go to Walt Disney World, there's like no cheap way to go around it because, so I went to the grocery store last night just to get us some snacks and stuff so that we're comfortable because I didn't feel like having to get up early, rush to breakfast, rush, rush, rush. There is like, everything at the restaurant out here costs about $3 more than Denver. They're gonna get their money somehow. So don't think, don't think there's ever gonna be a discount. And that's on period. We have sister. We got a little birthday shirts made by my other little sis. <laughs> I got my shirt on. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Riley has her shirt too, but I don't want it to get dirty. I don't want it to get dirty. Ooh, it's a close up. Ooh. Ooh. We all got our little Mickey ears, Mickey ears. No, Minnie Mouse ears. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse, Mickey. Whatever. Let's go. 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 Let's go.